What is the most used shape in games? You're right, the cursor. But it's always a default, so let's see how to change the cursor in our game. I downloaded some mouse variations from posing, link in the description. We'll start by changing the texture type to cursor and change the other settings to your liking. To change the default cursor, go to file, build settings, player settings, and on the default cursor, apply the texture you want. The cursor hotspot is the place the cursor points to. In this example, it's on the top left corner, so it's 0, 0. Now, when we press play, we will see the mouse change when we go into the game window. But we also want to switch between cursors in our game. So let's create a script. Create variables for the cursor texture, the cursor mode, and the hotspot position. On mouse enter, we will use the cursor.setCursor function with the texture, hotspot, and cursor mode. And on mouse exit, we will reset it to null and zero. To get our new cursor pointing position, right click, show in explorer, and open the image in any photo editing software you would like. Hover over this position and see the x and y values. For us, it's 26, zero. Now we can apply this script to all our objects with the hotspot value we just found. Don't forget that on mouse down, over, exit and everything works only with colliders. So add a collider to all of your objects. Now when we go over our eggs, we will see the mouse changes. To change mouse on click, we'll create a new class for the cursor data. That way we can control all the values from one place and not every object by itself. Let's copy the cursor texture, texture mode and hotspot and add a close hand texture too. Apply the script to another object and fill all the necessary data. With the magic of editing we have a close hand now so we can put it too. Now we can replace all our data with the cursor data component. Change everything according to the cursor data object. Whoopsie! I forgot to make the cursor more public. And now we're ready to use on mouse down with the close hand texture and on mouse up with the open hand texture. Apply the cursor data to one object in your scene, change all the values accordingly and attach the cursor data component to all of the objects in the scene. Now we can see our mouse change when we enter the scene, when we go over one of the eggs and when we click and release one of the eggs. Another method people use is hiding the mouth and showing a sprite on the mouse position. In this method you can apply effects, shaders, particle effects and more. If you want me to make a video about that, let me know in the comments. In the next tutorial we will see how to actually grab the eggs and move them around. If you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications. For any questions, feel free to comment it below or join my Discord channel. And as never, have fun. Bye!